Welcome to Hydroelectric, a deep water session presented at Bilex in 2011. You're going to ask the participants to keep one knee bent and one leg still while the other leg is working forwards and backwards. Both arms forwards and backwards, making sure you're strong and stable through the upper body and really working with power. Another great routine in deep water is the star jump version. I often do it to the music of river dance or Irish music, which always puts a smile on participants' face. Shoulder blades squeezing together, and you're swinging through, out and in, and the arm meeting halfway, pushing through, working the other side, across the body. Strong action, and then alternating. Chest out, push through. You can keep the legs apart and you'll get this natural swinging hip action. So the legs will stay strong, your feet are flexed, and you're pushing your hips forward while you're working the arms. You can tap in front and behind, push through. You can rest the arms and you can work legs out, forward, back. Okay, the next routine obviously involves the noodle and it's a lot of stability work where you're standing on the noodle, flex through the thighs, make sure you're strong through the thighs, the abdominals and the glutes, and we're working breaststroke arms. So you'll be travelling forward, standing on the noodle. It requires you to recruit a lot of muscles through your middle, so good core strength and abdominal strength. Push your chest out, make sure your shoulder blades are squeezing together, so you're working forward and backwards. You can also spin. So as you're spinning, the hip comes opposite forward and twists. On the spot, you can also work the arms forwards and backwards, really working the water with power in both directions, which will challenge the swinging action, will challenge your core strength. You can also take that load by the hips, so you're going to have to lock down and try and minimise that movement by squeezing through your middle, strong through the upper body, push through it. And three points. Thighs squeezing, abdominal squeezing, loops, loops are locked in while you're pushing strong. Push your chest out, tap. It's not important that you tap the noodle, just important that you take the hand away from that stabilizing position. You can curl out wide, you can curl in front, and you can actually work the range behind you by sculling through with the hands and making it a short action behind the body. Lift the heel out behind, squeeze the muscles in your bottom, stay strong through the abdominals, the whole time balancing. You can also do that in the prone position, so laying forward in the water and pushing in and out. out. And then you can turn both knees, so both knees come in, touch the elbow, so you're going from side to side, so the knees come in to the And you can do a wide leg version also, so the knees come to the outside. Bringing the noodle down to touch the top of your foot, pushing out and in, staying really strong through your middle. You can do the same again. Do that exercise, but flip it over onto your back. So you've got the legs out, the noodle under your body, and you're swinging all the way forward. So touch your heels, push out. Touch your heels, push out. When you're pushing out, though, you're pushing the noodle all the way out behind you. Tap, push out, tap. Push out, staying strong through the abs again. Where you're bracing through your abdominals and just holding that position. And then working breaststroke arms forward, reverse arms back. So you're working that routine strong. You can swing that side to side. Fully bracing through your obliques and your abdominals. to swing side to side. The legs naturally working in the opposite. Windscreen wiper arm. And still you can hold that position but bring it down into the vertical or the upright position, holding the noodle and you're working up and down. Very slow moving action. Then you can hold the toes up again in that position, hold and squeeze, hands up out of the water and just crunching, pushing through. Keep the legs as straight as you can, breathe through. Another series of routines not using any equipment could be a combination of 
bladder kicking, which increases the heart rate and elevates the heart rate very quickly, going through with the hands, all the power coming from the thighs. So your toes are down to the ground, the ankles are relaxed, and you're lifting the body, the body straight up out of the water, getting as high as you can. You can relax the body and then lift up again, relax the body. A great combination and series of abdominal workouts. hips from the legs as still as you can. There'll be a little bit of rocking action and hopefully you're feeling, as you push back as far as you can, you're feeling the abdominal break. All the way around. Swing it through, swing it through. And then again, you're going back in the other direction. So you're swinging around to the other way. Every time you push, there's a little swing. Every time you push, there's a little swing. Also, you can do that routine with your palms up. So you swing it through, pushing side to side. It's like a stabbing action, like you're stabbing ice to break it up. Stab the dumbbell under the leg, working side to side, squeezing, really working hard through the abdominal to keep the legs as still as you can and in position so that the shoulder moves forward for the clutch. Make sure you can feel that. Cue that the relaxed neck and strong breathing through the exercise so you can sustain that movement. Another great routine to build upper body strength as well as abdominal and core strength is to play with the routines by putting them under your knees. So I can demonstrate by using this ladder and the dumbbells are under my knees. I can go from the seated position into a kneeling position. Seated position, kneeling position. You're not swinging the toes forward. You're keeping the toes behind you and pushing forwards, backwards with power. So you work that routine and you go from the kneeling position to the seated position to the abdominal toes up out of the water position back to the seated, back to the kneeling making sure you're working those three steps where you work the knee out and in take the dumbbells apart, bring the dumbbells back together If you're looking to add another dimension, a unique dimension to your aerobics classes you can always add some parts